Hi, I'm Adam with HKN, and today we're going to be going over voltage dividers. Now, here's a circuit in which you would use a voltage divider. Right here we have two resistors in series. Now, if we wanted to find the voltage across this resistor, we'd need a voltage divider formula. So, we're going to call this voltage over here Vs. Right over here. And now, what we know with this circuit is that the current going through R1 and R2 is going to be the same, because resistors in series share the same current. It's going to be equivalent. Now, they don't share the same voltage, which is why we need to find this voltage while we're trying to find it. So let's start by using good old Ohm's law. We've got V equals IR. I'm going to derive the voltage divider formula. So what do we know from this circuit? OK, so V, what do we want to find? We want to find VR2, right? No, we want to find VR. Yeah, we want to find this, but we know VS. VS equals I, which is the current going through both of these, times the resistance. Now, the equivalent resistance of those two resistors is just R1 plus R2. Because if we remember, resistors in series, they just add together for equivalent resistance. So this is correct. So what do we know from this? We know that I, well, we find out that I equals Vs over R1 plus R2. Now we have this current. We know the current going through here now because we know that this is I and this is I. They're equal. So we now, now we know that current, we can find VR2. So VR2 is going to be that current that we found up here, right here. Vs over R1 plus R2. And we're going to multiply that by the resistance, R2. Because this is just V equals R I R, right? So from this, we can kind of derive the voltage divider formula, which takes the form of this. So whatever voltage you're trying to find, we'll say that it's V1. You take the source voltage and multiply it by the resistor that you're trying to find the voltage of over the resistor you're trying to find the voltage of plus the resistor in series with it. And that's the voltage divider formula. So let's do an example with that. Let's erase this. So let's do that example circuit right here. Ooh, that's squeaking. Don't you love it? I love it. We've got 12 volts here. And we're going to do a, an 8 ohm resistor here and a 4 ohm resistor here. So if we wanted to find the resistance going across that resistor, we want to find the voltage going across there. We want to do uh, V4 ohm is going to be that 12 volts right over there times 4 ohms over 4 plus 8. What's that going to give us? That will give us 4 volts. 4 volts. That makes sense, doesn't it? So we can do the same thing for this 8 ohm one. And it's going to give us 8 volts. So the voltage going across this one, it's 
8 volts, and that one's 4 volts. And that's how you use a voltage divider formula. I've been Adam with HKN. See you guys next time.